Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Boy C. Today we're going to do a pretty simple tutorial surrounding the text scale and ghost channels, basically note helpers, and this is some pretty helpful but simple stuff. I mean, it's one of those things that's useful for everyone from beginners to more advanced users. So basically, what you're going to notice is in the upper left hand corner, there's this little triangle in this box. It's this button is the piano roll options. You're going to click that and you're going to go down to helpers and if by default none of these are activated. So you're going to go through each time and click view note helpers to text scale and ghost channels. Basically what what this does is the detect scale and view note helpers is it tries to detect the key you're in when you're putting down melodies or chord pro progressions. And what this does is it makes it easier for you to place your notes if you're not entirely sure where to place them because um not everyone is a classically trained musician so to speak you know I'm self-taught I play by ear tempo is not so great so for this this is just perfect for me um, I'm sure a lot of you out there might be feeling me some may may not but in any case uh, I'm gonna put down a basic chord sequence here really simple you know you want to okay there we go okay that's the first chord second chord um we'll do that ooh that sounds bad okay well we'll do that So basically we have this simple chord sequence built in here and if if you noticed while I was doing this the bars were changing and that's Fruity Loops trying to detect detect the scale you're working in and you'll see the, all these lighter notes are these lighter bars here I'm pointing at my screen I don't know why but with my finger in any case <laughs> these bars here the lighter ones are the scale it's detecting you're in but uh... this tool is not always precise it won't always get it right and if you're playing notes that are out of scale or not in key to begin with i don't know what this program is going to do but i'm pretty sure it's not going to figure out the one you're in <laughs> but in any case um... what what you can do is after you place these in you can be pretty sure that most of these notes are a safe bet to go into. I mean, um, just go with it and try to develop your musical ear over time and you'll pick up on these things eventually. But in any case, back to the tutorial, we got this simple chord sequence which is a bit too fast. Um, I'm gonna press Control A here. I'm holding down Shift and I'm gonna drag this out which will slow it down to about half up here in the snap to grid button I'm going to click this and I'm going to click half step I'm going to press control Q while this is all highlighted and that's going to line it up if you'll notice here it's kind of off I press control Q it lines it all up real nice little hot key there and okay let's see we have this basic chord sequence now I'm going to show you what the ghost channels do we're gonna go into another piano over here and basically what we're gonna do is build an arpeggio now an arpeggio is a sequence of notes from a chord like let's say I'm playing this chord a an arpeggio of that chord would be just a sequence of those notes in that chord which is pretty handy I, I tend to use it a bit too much so I'm trying to wean myself off of it but it's a neat little trick for you guys to learn but in any case, you'll notice here there are these lighter bars. These are your ghost channels. Basically, it's showing everything inside the piano roll for the pattern you're in while ghost channels are on. So over here we have our, you know, our piano notes from the other one. We're going into our other piano, and you'll notice here these lighter lighter bars. Well, I'm going to go over helpers, 
and I'm going to turn ghost channels off. Well, you're left with a blank slate, you know, building an arpeggio when you can't remember the notes, or you might not be so great at putting them in at first isn't so easy. So you'll probably be going back and forth a lot, you know, just trying to figure out what I do there and what I do there, but this eliminates a lot of that. You go to view, or helper, sorry, ghost channels, and this is just like a godsend. I mean, makes things a lot easier. Even if you're not building arpeggios, if you're just doing melodies, uh, this this is really convenient. So I'm just going to put in an arpeggio here quick. And as you can see, clicking these notes in is a lot easier with these lighter guides here. You know, they point you where your other notes are on your other instrument. And let's see. I'm just going to place these in quick. But as you can see, just how I'm clicking these in, most people haven't built up that level of ability in their workflow where without the ghost channels they can just hear that oh that's that note and oh that's that note and just place each one in you know we're not for the most part most of us producers are not classically trained most of us aren't um for those of you who are bravo you know but uh this is more for those who aren't but in any case hold on